and still to come, finding hope in unlikely locations. It's nice to have this reminder that sort of anything is possible. Street art throughout Toronto with the same encouraging message. Meet the man who made it in his mission to find as many as possible. So on. Well, today it was a beautiful, pleasant day in Toronto. It was sunny as well, but tonight is a different story. We will see some snow start to trickle in. Minus 4 tonight, feeling more like minus 10. Increase in cloud and snow a couple of centimeters by the morning. And winds gusting up to 50 kilometers an hour. And tomorrow we could see another 5 centimeters of snow. And there's a winter weather advisory in effect right now. A recap of your 7-day forecast is coming up after the break. Turning to Toronto together and one man's mission to celebrate his birthday in a unique way. He decided to hop on his bike and look for and share uplifting messages throughout the city. CTV Saran Fennell joins us once again with that story. Saran. That's right. It took him and his family about five hours to do the bike tour, 50 kilometers long. Of course, they stopped to take pictures along the way. It's a message they've seen over the past several years, but it wasn't until recently that it had added meaning. If you live in Toronto, you've likely seen this French saying pop up around the city. In French, it just says, tout est possible, um, all is possible. Matthew Richardson is an avid cyclist in Toronto. He uses a bike to get around. A few months ago, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to try and visit all of the different spots where, where they were uh, all in one day? For his 48th birthday, he did just that. His birthday coinciding with Valentine's Day and Family Day weekend. So he celebrated with his wife, three boys, and friends. The Toronto native had noticed the graffiti in years past. But with recent COVID lockdowns, economic uncertainty, and climate change, the message behind Tue Possible is timely. It's nice to have this reminder that sort of anything is possible. And, and, and so I like the idea... Uh, I like the message behind the graffiti, and then I like the idea of the simplicity of it, too. He knew of some locations, but turned to a Facebook cycling group for help finding more. So I sent out a message to that and just said, hey, does anyone know where any of these are? Let me know. And so then people sort of chimed in. He came up with a list of about 20 locations scattered across the city, from Forest Hill to the Danforth and on. Through the Nordheimer Ravine. Um, which enters at the bottom of Russell Hill Road and comes out at St. Clair West. It's amazing that these ravines, these little pockets of nature, exist right in the middle of the biggest city in the country. The graffiti has been up since at least 2011, although Richardson says some have been painted over by the city. The person behind the graffiti remains a mystery. I would just like to say to the artist, thank you. I've been seeing the messages for years and they're really uplifting. Funny enough, after Richardson posted in that Facebook group thanking everyone for their list of recommendations, many people commented saying you missed one here and you missed one there. So now he says he might turn this into a birthday tradition. Back inside to you.